Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. The Modern Day Mr. Rogers. Please won't you be my neighbor. This is Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. Don't be alarmed if you hear thunder. We've already had the power knocked out for a second. We started the show and the power went out. We had to come back on and do it again. Crazy. It's nuts around here today. It's storming bad here. I didn't even know it was supposed to be bad today. I didn't realize it was supposed to be bad either. Yeah, yeah. But it has turned out to be a, a pretty ugly day. Although, although the storm did give me a chance to watch a few more uh, moments of Dr. Alex on TikTok popping people's necks. He's a chiropractor. Yeah. And he does the full body thing like neck, back, hips, that Y strap thing or under, sure. under your chin and snap. You hear their whole body pops. Mm-hmm. Uh, feet. Yeah. Toes. Feet. Yeah, there was nuts. I've seen people pop ears. I've never seen ears. Scalps. Like yeah. they pull the yeah. scalp away from the skull and it pops. I mean, it's nuts. They pull the scalp away from the skull like the and it skin. pops. Oh. I mean, it's wild. Really? Mm-hmm. I've never seen that either. But this guy pops. I don't know. And pop is not the proper term, but he's, he's a chiropractor. And he, you yeah. know, he pops your back, essentially. And it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I, just, I don't know. It gives me a sense of relief watching because you yeah. see them go like, oh, wow. And they can move their shoulder at an angle it wouldn't move before. I think, oh, that feel, I bet that feels great. There's a guy in Houston that does that ring dinger where he just yanks their head up and i mean these people just look like they're about to die that that, that's one of the things this guy does he calls the y strap because Mm -hmm. it goes there are two straps that comes under the chin they cross and kind of make a y Mm -hmm. and then he pulls them back tight and then all of a sudden he's suddenly he pops on their neck and you hear just yeah keep your teeth closed don't don't bite off your tongue something the upper part of their of their of their neck that that one lady said i actually i think i'm taller now Mm -hmm. than i was when i got here that's unbelievable it's intense i don't know i guess but i spend way too much time watching that yeah yeah a lot of stuff coming up today on ace and friends including we're moments away from the triumphant return of paranormal piper from pineville now i gotta be honest i have not talked to my sister a lot in the past couple weeks um so I don't know what's going on. We have no real lead in. We're just going to call her, Go see what it. happens <laughs> next. Woo! This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. All right. We have her on the phone. She is back. It's been a couple of weeks. She's been away. But we welcome back to Ace and Friends, my sister from Pineville, Louisiana, Paranormal Piper from Pineville. (laughs) Good morning. Good morning. So I told everybody we really... You and I haven't talked a lot in the past couple of weeks um, at all. We've texted a lot, but we haven't actually spoken. So I don't really know what's up, what's going on in the world of the paranormal in central Louisiana. So today I kind of leave it to start where, where what's happening. Are you still doing readings? Are you, I haven't seen you much on TikTok. What's been going on? Uh, I'm still doing the readings. Um, I've been doing some private readings. Um, but I, I'm still doing the readings, and then uh, we have been checking out um, a couple of the National Historic Cemetery here in Pineville. Um, we've got we're like trying to line things up because um, <coughs> excuse me, the girl that's in our group that usually books everything. Yeah is fixed to have a baby okay well let me ask you a question oh. so have you encountered any in any of the cemeteries there in pineville have you encountered any um i don't know what's the proper term spirits um we've done um uh, we've encountered a couple in the colfax cemetery okay and we have encountered uh we have a picture where uh 
there it, it looks like there's like a misty outline in the picture uh, next to the headstone. Um, we have some EVP recordings uh, where you can hear some disembodied voices on it. What is it? Hang on a second. What does that mean? A disembodied voice? Um, a disembodied voice is where you have like. You can pick up words or messages or sentences through EVP. EVP is where you use, um, you can either use a, um, what we call a spirit box. And it will, we can record what it says. Um, Does that mean like when it, when it, you hear a lot of noise, I've seen it on Ghost Hunters, when you hear a lot of noise and you hear someone, it'll say like, you know, get out. And you're like, oh my God, I think I heard it say get out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very elementary explanation but, on my part, but that's what it sounds like. Um, but even more so, it's just having the simple recording of it, where it's you ask a question and then you don't hear anything at all until you hear something, you pick something up. And so you would <laughs> say, like, uh, have you been in this cemetery for very long? And it would say, you would hear nothing. So you you would hear, you know. No, and yes. they like, oh, I says no, and they haven't been here very long. That kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm. Okay. We, we gotta get those. Reco- I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear those recordings. How do we get those recordings, Piper? Uh, I, I have a couple you got of it. them. We usually give them, turn them in because she makes them into videos to post online. Yeah, I just want to hear a couple of those recordings yeah. so we can play them. Maybe next week you can come on and we can play some of the recordings and let people hear them. Okay. Okay. And, uh, we do the what we call the Estes method, um, yeah, where you that. channel what's going on. It's where you're blindfolded and you have on uh, noise canceling headphones, so you can't hear anything. And um, someone else is asking questions, and you're simply channeling the spirits. What's- you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little too much for me. So let's move on. Knowing that your sister has blindfolds around the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did. I did just think of something I want to know. Um, uh-huh. It just occurred to me. So we're gonna take a break, and we come back. There's this. I've been thinking about this and wanting to know about the weirdest, wildest things that you've encountered in doing this and doing your readings and all that stuff. So we'll get into that next. Hang on. This is Ace and Friends. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Ace and Friends. Every Wednesday, my sister Piper from Pineville, Louisiana, we call her Paranormal Piper from Pineville, joins the Ace and Friends show. And uh, she's on with us from the house where we grew up. And little did I know, when we were kids, that she would turn out to be a paranormal investigator and have the ability to do readings and your third eye is open and all that kind of stuff. So when you do these readings for people, uh, Uh paranormal Piper, when you do these readings for people, what is the, what is the weirdest crazy experience that you've had while doing a reading for someone? Like, is there anything that stands out like that was really wild that I learned this or whatever? Uh, I was doing a reading for uh, a friend of mine. And with my private readings, they take probably about 30, 30 minutes. And I'm doing the reading and I'm doing the reading. And 
I started like picking up a lot of things from when she was younger. What we call shadow work is where there are things that you need to work on within yourself to help improve yourself so things from your past don't affect your present life. And I found out a lot of things that I really didn't want to know that had happened to her. Um, like bad things? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's, yeah. I don't want, that's not and, and And that, that, was, that was pretty freaky. Okay. What's the wildest thing that you've that's happened that might be kind of fun for all of us to hear about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she a freak or anything well, like well, that? Well, I maybe yeah, found out we uh, Abraham Lincoln was her granddaddy or something. Yeah. I don't know. Something fun. Yeah. When we were investigating um, the Myrtle's plantation, um, and I do have this on video. I'll have to find, I mean, record it. I'll have to find it. We're all sitting in the room, and then... Um, all of a sudden, it sounded like right in my ear. I had just walked in the room and sat down. They had already been in there investigating. I walked in the room and sat down, and all of a sudden, right in my ear, and you can hear it on the recording plain as day, you hear this really loud hello that was said right in my ear, and nobody was talking. Like someone leaned into your ear and said hello. Like somebody leaned into my ear and said hello, and it picked it up on my on my tape recorder. And you talk about freak you out. Hmm. It, that was really weird. That's creepy. Oh. There's been another time we were investigating the Gothic Jail in Derrida, which is has a lot of paranormal activity. Um, and in the back then, the, you know, the jailer, his wife, his kids, they all lived in the jail. Yeah. To take care of the prisoners and stuff. Right. And in one of the rooms, um, there was a bed. I had laid down on the bed. And um, the next thing you knew, I became ice cold. Um, I couldn't sit up and, um, they would like try to pick my arm up to raise my arm up and you couldn't raise it up. So other people couldn't raise your arms, couldn't lift your arms. No. Wow. And how long did that last? And, and I could feel things like fingers rubbing the side of my face. Oh, that one left a, a big scratch on my arm from that one. So. And how long did it last that you were, you know, paralyzed or held there on the bed? About five minutes. No way. Five That's minutes. Scary. Five minutes yeah. is a long time to be held down it on was bed. About five minutes. Well, I was channeling. So, it was about five minutes. Shut you up, didn't it? Oh, oh yeah, I was channeling. Okay, I was shut yeah. you up real quick, <laughs> smart Alec. <laughs> All right, man, that's scary. I'd call. I'd want to. I'm nine nine one one on that. Yeah. I mean, if I'm like being held down by a, a figure I can't see, that's well, terrifying. We have. Well, it's uh, a gothic jail. What'd you expect? I don't even know what a gothic jail is, but it sounds know, bad. It is. sounds real bad. It's gothic architecture. Oh, okay, okay. That's Fair what enough. they call it, the gothic jail. Okay. But wow. we have we have a Catholic priest who's also an exorcist and performs exorcisms. He uh, he's blessed and given all of us uh, a cross and a rosary that we always have on us and carry with us. Um, he's all given us all holy water. Um, we use that. Um, we uh, use Florida water to, to you know protect ourselves. We also use a lot of frankincense. And myrrh? And that helped. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why are you making faces, yeah. Riggins? No, I'm just yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking it all um, in. Florida water, like Zephyr because, Hills water. And, mm -hmm. we, and we, we, all, we pray before we go in. Yeah. And then we always, you know, let it be known. You cannot attach yourself. You cannot follow us home. Of course, that doesn't always work. I but, you know. Okay. Well, hang on. We're following you home. <laughs> okay. Say following your home. We're gonna say following your home for next week, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll check on you later. All right. All right. Yeah. Have okay. a great day. That's my it sister, yeah. Paranormal <laughs> Piper from Pineville. Wow. Follow your home. Wow. Yeah. That one got dark.
you're mm. being held down by the spirits and that's scary yeah what, what is florida water in more ways than one i'm a google yeah. google it rob see if you can yeah, answer see what what is that? hold up are you ready you ready ace and friends the Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends presents I'm about to have a good day. The good news. Kind of felt like after Paranormal Piper from Pineville, we need some good news. Yeah. Uh, there are three different pretty good graduation stories that are trending there's a set of quintuplets who graduated together at montclair state university quintuplets is four right quintup quinn i think quinn is five five oh my five. god five their parents paid for five kids to go to college at one time oh, yeah unbelievable i have so much respect for the parents of like triplet any of those twins Unreal. all the way up it's crazy unbelievable but um there's also an 83 year old lady named marie fowler who just became howard university's oldest graduate ever and at Arizona State, uh, we talked about this girl. She's uh, just earned her doctorate. She is 17. Yeah, that's crazy. She started college at 10. She got her associates at 11, her bachelor's at 13, her master's at 15, and now she has her doctorate at 17. Uh, and this is a pretty pretty incredible story. There's an Australian doctor. His name is Richard Scolier, and he's announced that he is still cancer-free almost a year after he was diagnosed with glioblastoma it's a type of brain cancer that's considered terminal he's one of the leading experts on skin cancer in the world and he used an immunotherapy treatment that he helped pioneer for melanoma they've kind of altered it to work on this brain cancer that he has experts say it's too early to tell but if this works it would be huge news in the world of uh, of brain cancer and how to fight brain cancer because yeah. in most cases it's terminal and if they do work on it they have to go in and take out portions of your brain and in this case he used uh, this melanoma process that he pioneered and they kind of altered it to work on the brain and it may it may actually be very very effective impressive people on the makes know, me feel like uh, crap uh, if you tell me i've got <laughs> brain cancer it's gonna be like, let's just shut it down guys let, let, he, oh, yeah. just, despite brain cancer he was still able to come up with this yeah he has wow. brain cancer and thought i can cure this i'd be like how many good day how many times do you think i can go to the beach before it gets really bad yeah uh and king charles was given a 31 year old lady named georgia laurie a special award for saving her twin sister from a crocodile in 2021 uh this was in the news you might remember they were on vacation in mexico when a crocodile grabbed her sister and pulled her down but georgia jumped in the water and punched the crocodile, which got the what? crocodile to let go. What? Uh, she is receiving the King's Gallantry Medal. It's given to people who show extraordinary acts of bravery. That probably happens in Louisiana like every day. Every week. It's no big There's deal. no... They don't even report it on the news. It no, happens so often. It's no Louisiana. awards, no trophies, nothing. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. This is Ace and Friends. You hear it all the time. You cannot count on social media. You cannot necessarily count on the internet for facts. You've got to fact check things. Here's the reason why. This is a TikTok that is going viral and getting millions of hits. This was a fact so ridiculous you didn't believe it until you looked it up yourself. There is a whole layer of our atmosphere that is mostly spiders and they're alive and then they eat things they're not all dead spiders and the way that they get up there is that when they are like making their webs and they're like shooting the web they get swept up in a little wind tunnel or something and i know it sounds big and i cried the first time i heard this but it is absolutely true we have an atmosphere layer that is mostly made up of live spiders okay so i double check it's not true that is not true no no there is something to do with atmospheric electricity and it will pull bugs all up in there but there's not a whole layer of the atmosphere that is made up of spiders just spiders that everywhere 100 incorrect it sounds impossible doesn't it it sounds well because it is impossible yeah. Like she literally says there's a whole layer of the atmosphere that is made up of spiders. 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 
I mean, that's, just thinking about it makes no sense. Oh, that's creepy. I mean, you go right past that stratosphere, you're in the spider sphere after that. That's right. right. <laughs> spider verse. What is it? The next, the the first layer that we're in is like the toposphere. Ooh, no I'm, idea. Let's, let's not get into science, <laughs> please. Is that right? I was it's, never good with space, clouds, all that stuff. Yeah. Is the stratosphere the farthest out, Rob? Uh, no, the mesosphere is. I just looked it up. So, so is Tropos the stratosphere before the mesosphere? So troposphere is first, ozone yeah. layer is next, stratosphere, and then the mesosphere. Okay, because okay, so the stratosphere, yes, because it's the, the layer. We get through the ozone layer to get to the stratosphere, which is when you kind of get out into space. I just know the ozone layer because back in the 80s, they told us we were burning a hole with it. Yeah. With, the, with all of our hairspray. That's it. But somehow, miraculously, it was going to be gone by the mid-90s, but somehow that didn't happen. Well, I don't know how we turned that one around, but the ozone layer suddenly bounced back. It repairs itself. <laughs> it recovered. But yeah, so people are just like, oh my God. Well, it's not true. That is not correct. That's good to know. There, like somebody said, there are spiders in the atmosphere, a lot of them, but there's not an entire atmospheric layer of spiders. Thank how God. are spiders in the atmosphere at all? Well, they do get swept up because they're tiny. It just doesn't make sense. They can't fly. Yeah. Yet. But the wind sweeps them up. Just a point being, you got to just don't accept things. Yeah. For being true. Space spiders. Yeah. Not true. You and your small flex coming up next. Woo! This is Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate and years of research, we've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ladies and gentlemen, we take pride in presenting This is Ace and Friends. So Ricketts came up with an interesting idea. Your, your what's it called? Your tiny flex? Yeah. What is your tiny flex? Your life might be a wreck, but you have this one thing that you can kind of flex about, like, you know, the smaller, the better. Yours, Riggins, was that you can just fall asleep whenever you're ready to go to sleep. I, get, I didn't know it was a small flex until you guys <laughs> pointed it out that it's kind of a flex and it's kind of annoying to hear about. I wouldn't say it's a small flex either. That's a huge flex yeah. for me. Really? Did you have a small flex, Rob? Oh, you were the yeah. Southeastern... Uh, store. Those are the only things I can think Whatever of. that champion of that card game that one time. The Star Wars Unlimited store champion does yeah. it count that I, in the eighth grade i was the uh pepsi hotshot regional championship and got to participate at the yeah. halftime of a houston rockets game sure okay small flex <laughs> also in the eighth grade uh best individual yearbook at the uh at the week-long uh yearbook camp no i was the editor of my yearbook i got a trophy didn't count okay <laughs> no i'm surprised you didn't get shoved in a locker for that my band opened for bon jovi that's not a, that's not a small flex i don't think Thank you, Rob, for pointing yeah. that out. It's just flex. <laughs> There's no such thing as a small flex. I just wanted to get flex. that in there. Uh, yeah. I'm so some of these are pretty good. This lady said, I'm an average cook. Her name's Mallory on our social media. She goes, but my meatloaf is apparently the best meatloaf ever. My son's friends request it every time they come to stay the night. I'm pretty sure it's been fought over when my son takes it to school. She goes, Ooh. She goes it is that good. So she's like, I, I'm not a great cook. This is the one thing that she does better than anybody else. Um... Elsie said, I am the slowest runner or walker during events, yet I have completed five full marathons. That's super impressive. That's a pretty good flex. But I get it. She's not competing. She's not uh, running toward the front. She's never going to win. Yeah, you walked a marathon. But she, hey, but she finished a marathon. That's right. That's a good one. Uh, Valerie said, I'm from the country, but I've never been chased by a rooster. <laughs> That's my fault. Small flex. Um, a lot of these people want to point out they've never had a ticket. Yeah, if it's happened to a lot of people, that's not really a flex, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, one lady's small flex was she was accused of stealing by her landlord, and she went to court, defended herself, fought it, and won. That's that's sick. I like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, small flex. I was born and raised in the same town as both of my parents. Is that a flex? I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No, that's not a flex. No. Um, and Nikita said, small flex, I've been pulled over eight times in my life, all for speeding. Zero tickets. That's a flex. That is a flex. Absolutely. She's very, she's very attractive. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Her picture is not on the profile. 
So no then. Uh, no, Rob, I looked it up. You'd be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's very, you're right. She's very attractive. <laughs> Hold up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ace and friends. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Ace and friends, friends. Whether it's good or bad. Hey, did you see that? You not important or not? Uh, okay. Down. Sorry. This is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. I, to be fair, you may already be talking about this story because Jerry Seinfeld gave the commencement address at Duke University the other day, and he said a couple of things about you know, wokeness and comedians and all that lately. And that has just brought some attention to him. It appears that that attention has caused the internet to turn on him because it's come back out again. And this happened what 30 years ago that Jerry Seinfeld, when he was 38 years old, began dating a 17 year old named Shoshana Lonstein. This was common knowledge. It was discussed at the time. Now her parents approved you know, he was already a superstar. The TV show Seinfeld was a big deal at the time. It was the mid nineties. She was still in high school. He was 38. Her family approved of the relationship. There wasn't a massive, massive outcry about it at the time. A lot of people said, well, that's weird. That's odd. That's kind of inappropriate, but nobody did anything. Jerry was quoted at the time as saying, Shoshana is a person, not an age. <laughs> um, Jerry and Shoshana dated for about four years. Now, how will this affect his career now? Just because the fact it wasn't a big deal then. Well, first off, I don't think it will affect his career now no. because he is not, doesn't seem to be interested in doing a lot of TV shows and he does the movie projects that he wants to do and he goes out and tours and that's what he loves and it's not going to affect that business at all. So it's not going to have any effect on his career now. But it is wild that the internet has decided, let's pull this little tidbit back up and throw out there and try to ruin this guy. Yeah. But I had to think back on that time. I remember that was in every magazine, like People Magazine and yeah. Entertainment Time and all those places covered it pre-internet days. So he wasn't hiding it at all. Mm -mm. And I think she was 17, right about to turn 18, but still he was 21 years. And I think there's a difference. I'm 24 years older than my wife. But she was in her mid twenties when we met. There's a big difference to me between that and this girl was still in high school. She was a high school senior when they met and started dating. Mm -hmm. That just seems that's not right. That just seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it even does. though my good. age gap is that's bigger than you know, my age gap is twenty four years. Their age gap was twenty one years. I'm in a bigger age gap relationship. But she was still in high school. Yeah. Was uh, how old was Amanda? When you guys started? When we met, she was twenty four, and I was forty. Was she was twenty? Yeah, she was twenty four. I was forty eight. Yeah. Okay, so it was double. Got it. That's what I was. That's what I was trying to. Get. Yeah, yeah, I was double her age. Oh boy! Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. for making it point that. <laughs> Yikes! That's true. <laughs> but she was twenty four, about to be twenty five. And I was about to be 49. She was an old 24. She was in, She is a very mature 24. That's yes. right. Yes. This is Ace and Friends. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. I have fallen in love with a particular TikTok that Riggins has brought to us today because it all centers around the type of conversations that every couple has had at some point in time. You've got each other. You've got friends. You've also got your pets. And what is the pecking order when it comes to pets and humans? Check this out. Person for wanting to save their cat as opposed to a stranger. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, a stranger over my pet. I would save my pet over a stranger if the act of saving my pet required me to drown 
the stranger. <laughs> you shouldn't have been in the same room as my pet. You knew the rules. Riggins, you love your dog. Yeah. Your dog is drowning. A human being is drowning. Stranger. You don't know. Who are you saving? My dog. I, I asked think, Amanda. I said, Amanda. I didn't think about it. Our basset hound Toby is drowning and the stranger drowning. She goes, you can stop there. It's Toby. I said, it's a human being you're going to let drown. She goes, I'm saving my dog. Absolutely. That stranger could be a pedophile. Could be a Nazi. Could be a Nazi pedophile. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Nazi pedophiles? No. Yeah, it could be. Mm. It's a stranger. You don't know. But you know that dog here's what, loves you. But here's you what bothers it. me about my wife, though. My wife says it's just like in the movies. You're fleeing town to get away from whatever bad is happening in the town, and you stop to pick up somebody. Why do you pick them up? I said, because they're fleeing also. She said, you save yourself. Yeah. I was like, if you have room in the car, how many people do you do you help? As many as I can put in the car. Yeah, precious time, man. You're wasting <laughs> hey, your listen, precious time. She's not a helper of people. She doesn't like to help people. You can't help people if you're carrying so much weight that your own ankles are broken, right, Ace? <laughs> <laughs> that's not quite I forget the same who thing, said Riggins. that, but... That's not quite the same thing. I forget who said that, but no, I No, you're supposed I do to help that. people try to save them. I'm not saving... I'm not... I got to be honest. If our dog was dying and a human was dying, I don't think I'd save the... I'd, Try to save the human life. Yeah, it's Do obvious. Do you think if you save the dog and not a human, I mean, if you save a human and not a dog, that you would still be married after it was over? No, there's no doubt. She okay. would divorce me. I saw, I was just she would be so sure. angry at me for doing that. That's what I assumed, but I wanted to make sure. <laughs> she got aggravated with me one day for stopping and helping that old guy on the road when his car was on fire. Yeah, that You was could dumb. see the flames. No, that was a dumb idea. And she was like, oh, well, I always got to help everybody. <laughs> We're trying to get to Atlanta. <laughs> You know, yeah, do. you know if I dove into a lake and saved a man's life, and in the process, the dog, the basset hound Toby died, he's 10 years old. Yeah, I'd be divorced. As soon as, as soon as I got through being interviewed by the police and hailed as a, as a, a hero, she would just hand me the divorce papers. I don't know. In this day, I don't know that they would hail you. They'd be like, and he chose the stranger over the dog. They might turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> they might so. go, uh, I would have saved the dog. That would be the first question. His wife's dog. Yeah, why did he say his I, I don't dog. think that would have gone well. <laughs> This is Ace and Friends. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Hey, it's Ace and Friends. Ladies and gentlemen, we take pride in presenting This is Ace and Friends. All right, it's the Wednesday edition of Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. So let's play a round of Would You Rather Wednesday. Riggins has put together some Would You Rathers. Yeah, you want to do this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, would you rather let a crusty old man drink milk out of your belly button every day for a year? Or... Or would you rather drink milk out of a crusty old man's belly button every day for a month? Mm, I'm letting the crusty old man drink out of mine. Yeah. Every day for a year? Yeah, that's fine. That's much better than me having to do it to him. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you, Rob. He said it's fine. Yeah. Like, like you wouldn't even be bothered by I, that. I'd have to accept, like, okay, this is happening. Yeah, yeah well, I'd do that for $2. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be stuck on an island for eternity all on your own or with someone you hate? And there's, then there's no chance of that per, working with that person to get off the island. You're just stuck there forever. So. I'd rather yeah. be stuck on my own than with somebody I hate. Oh, no. I, I, th I think I'd rather be on my own in general, even with somebody I loved. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be otherwise. stuck there with somebody I hate. I don't know. Somebody. At least it's somebody to talk to? I guess so, even I if they hate you. Male or female? It's just someone you hate. Do you hate any women? Yeah. I mean, all, all, do, you, do you not hate any women? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, would you rather <laughs> would you rather eat a wet loaf of bread or drink a pint of pureed fish? Uh, give me you know, the like, wet bread. Wet bread. I'm going wet bread. Go yeah. wet bread. Going wet well. bread. Yeah. Uh, would you rather be nauseous all the time or have a headache all the time? I'd rather have a headache. Headache. Oh no! I'd rather I mean, be nauseous. Oh, at least oh I'd be no! Thin. Yeah. Being nauseous is not fun at all. I mean, obviously, little, neither is a headache. That was, that was stupid to say. Yeah, I'd rather have a headache all the time. Yeah, Be a little skinny mini. Yeah. Would you rather give up uh, sex or food? Food. Mm. I don't have a good answer here. <laughs> <laughs> I do love food. I mean, you'd have to have some food to to, to exist. I, you just drink water all the time. That's all you need. Yeah, just water. Okay. 
Kind of uh, be in good shape. Yeah. Would you rather uh, have your hair pulled or yes. your back scratched? Back scratched. Back oh, scratched. hair pulled or back yeah. scratched? I'd go back yeah. scratch. Yeah, don't pull my hair. <laughs> I'm not into that. We're going to have some problems if you pull yeah. my Well, I don't have much hair right now, but we're going to have problems. Yeah. Would you rather uh, draw naked people all day or have people draw you naked all day? Hmm. I'd rather draw people naked all day. Yeah, I'd rather draw I think people I naked would all too. day. Yeah. I don't need to be naked in front of everyone. Yeah, so those are fun. That's interesting. Eye opening. Yeah, I'd rather see a bunch of other naked people all yeah. day than just see them clothed and I'm just naked all day. Yeah, even they're, they're judging gross, you. Ugly. Yeah. It's like gross ugly people. I mean, if like one person try wants try to draw me naked, that's okay. But I still want to sit around every day and listen to let bunches of naked people draw me. <laughs> Yeah, there's, everyone's naked. We're just going to get naked yeah. all in the room. It's kind of weird. The whole thing's weird. <laughs> Hold up. Are you ready? You ready? Ace and Friends. For a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't gonna treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were gonna be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. This is Ace and Friends. There is a story in the news this week that I've determined makes me sad because sometimes people let me down. So the portal, I thought was a pretty cool idea. The yes. portal was a, was set up in New York about a week ago, and it was set up so that um, people in Dublin and New York could connect. When you walk up to it, if you haven't seen it, it's like a big circle. When you walk up to it and look into it, you're immediately looking at a live camera in Dublin, and the people in Dublin are immediately looking at you in New York. And I thought, that's pretty cool. It's done by an art group. And each portal shows a live feed of the other city. Kind of lets people connect from an ocean away. Just kind of one of those things where this is kind of a cool thing to have in the middle of New York City, in the middle of Manhattan. Uh, less than a weekend, they've shut it down temporarily. Uh, too many people flashing, too many people mooning each other, too many people flipping each other off. People are grinding, rubbing their crotches on the portal, holding up inappropriate photos, including porn. Somebody in Ireland held up a shot of the Twin Tower smoldering. We told you about this, and this all started a couple of days ago. <laughs> terrible. They're being idiots. Funny, though. It's is it? To it's me, not funny. To me, I was I was laughing at all of them. Well, this is my point. It's not fun. I'm, it bums me out. Like, I, I hate the expression. You know, this is why we can't have nice things. This is somebody tried to do something cool, and it got so perverted, we couldn't we couldn't just think. Oh, this is a cool way to connect with other people. People's hmm. you know, people's kids might have been looking at that. You're up there grinding on it, shoving your crotch. That OnlyFans model pulls her shirt up and exposes herself. One. Yeah. Yeah, she was everywhere. Was it Tuesday? What is, it was Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. That I mean, TikTok, Twitter. She was everywhere. It's a good little promotion for her only. I know, fans, I and guess. I know that's why she did it for promotion. I'm sure it worked well, which is which is also sad. The people wouldn't go. Oh man, she ruined it for everybody. It was it was cool for everybody, and she ruined it. I'm not going to go look at her OnlyFans. What uh, what was that in OnlyFans of her? What was <laughs> <laughs> I, Portal I never, babe. Yeah, I never saw a name. Portal babe. Portal babe. I'm gonna change my name. <laughs> We did, I was bummed. Like idea. this is these people tried to do something cool, and yeah. in less than a week, it was totally ruined because everybody got perverted and nasty with it. Who showed a picture of nine eleven? Was that the Dublin people? Yeah, yeah the, somebody in Dublin held up a photo of the twin towers smoldering. It was on their phone, and they just held it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrong with people. <laughs> See, it's so wrong. that's my point. It's so funny though. <laughs> That's not funny. Hold I on, disagree. The, the it's twin kind towers. Of, it's, oh, it's not funny, it's Rob. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Oh, Rob's laughing. It's funny. <laughs> Made me very sad. 
<laughs> we're long enough removed from 9-11 for it to be funny. No, we're not. I disagree. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. This is Ace and Friends. A few minutes ago, we were talking about the portal. That art installation that got shut down after people kept flashing it and mooning it, and I was talking about how disappointed I was. And Rob finds the whole thing funny. It's, it's you, pretty funny. You find it amusing that people are flashing it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And y'all know I'm I'm no I will never be considered a prude. Yeah. I don't think. No, under don't any know. circumstances. But that's that's not in public like two people in public. You know, one flash and the other being playful in public. That's that's just like anybody could see you, like kids and all could see you. Why do you make a face? Because you ha- don't you have a history of doing that kind of stuff in public? I don't. <laughs> Who have I flashed in public? Hmm. I'm, I'm down with it. <laughs> what are you complaining I'm, you know, for? I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining about like, do, you know, doing it in a mass way where it's ruining what something cool that people try to set up for everybody else. It's only cool when it's a woman beside you on the interstate and she flashes you there. That's the only place it's cool. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're in the aisle at the grocery store and your wife is like, hey, check this out. You know, not, hey. That's cool. Yeah. If nobody else sees. Yeah. Like you just got away with a little something there. Mm-hmm. But this is kind of something for everybody. Just You got to kind of play it middle of the road for everybody to have some fun. People might have their kids there. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to just be doing that kind of stuff. Flipping people off. Your kids see you flipping people off. It's like, it's like people who wear um, uh, T-shirts with cussing to the zoo. Or to a park. You know, there are kids around. Not everybody needs to see your nasty T-shirt. Because there are kids there. And other, there are other families there who may not want to be participating in whatever it is you've got going on. But what if they don't see it? Well, if they don't see it, I guess it's a different deal. But in this case, they did see it. That's why they shut the thing down. Because you can't help but see it. You can't get away from it. You walk up, if you're in Dublin, and you walk up and look in the portal, and there's a, a woman in New York on the other end, you know, dropping her pants and sticking her butt up against the screen. Yeah. You're like, going to have a good day if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I really My day has been there. made. Not if you're there with your kids, you're not. I live in Dublin. It sucks. This is the highlight of my day. Right. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> what? That's, you, we got to see some attractive sure, American I mean, girls. New, York, New yeah. York City. That kind of that yeah, shouldn't have a kid out there anyway. She made that whoever, all the people on that side, she made their day. You want to yeah. take that away from people? I, 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 I'm, yeah, her OnlyFans has probably exploded in the past couple sure, days. Sure, sure. It's pretty good, smart. Good for her. It's not good for her. I, I disagree. Very good. She, she, but it she ruined all it. the fun for everybody. I kind of a selfish act. Well, just because they put it away doesn't mean it wasn't fun for everybody before then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Mm-hmm. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. Sometimes things happen in my life that I don't understand. I try to. I just don't understand them. For example, yesterday was, uh, long story short, my, my wife took Dax, our 10-month-old, to this little music class that we go to with him. And normally we both go. But uh, yesterday we had a guy coming to check on our sink, so I stayed to be there to let the guy in because our garbage disposal was messing up. Anyway. And then I left to go do something else and came up here to do some work and she was on the way home and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't see them until about 6.30. So it's about a two and a half hour span in there that I didn't see them. <clears throat> and then she asked me later, um, you never asked me about you know feeding Dax or anything. Did you just assume that I did it? And I said, um, yeah, I did. Because yeah. you know, he gets like a little solid meal and then he gets a bottle when he goes to bed. And he's bed bath time, bedtime, it all starts about seven o'clock. So about 7.20, 7.15, 
he gets a bottle. I said, uh, yeah. She goes, if something were to ever happen to me, you couldn't just assume that it would be taken care of. Good point. I said, well, I'm not really following the conversation at this point, but my point is uh, nothing happened to you. So he was with you. You do a fantastic job of taking care of him. So I just assumed you were feeding him just like you always do because you're as good as I've ever seen at taking care of a child. Just, but, but if, but if, if I weren't here, you couldn't assume that I said, no, I couldn't because if you weren't here, he would be with me. Right. <laughs> and if, you know, if something happened to you and then uh, he would either be with me or with someone, then I would check on it because I would have told them he needs to eat at this time. And I would probably check on it. She was as long as you're not assuming it. So, First off, I'm trying to pay you a compliment and say that I didn't assume I that I assumed because you're very good at this. I know. Do you though? <laughs> I don't know that you do. I don't know that you're like, following the logic at and when, all. And when the conversation ended, I was thinking, I don't really know what we're talking about. I don't like, know what, either. What thought, is the point we're getting at? I thought you were doing great until right now. Yeah. <laughs> Like now I'm I'm yes, questioning. Yes. It was you know it was it was raining and all that. So I don't know if the if the rain played a part. Of thinking maybe we we're gonna have a. If she was thinking maybe what would happen if we'd have been in an accident and I would have something would have happened to me. I don't know what that was about. If I'm not here, you're gonna have to feed him. Well, yeah, yes, <laughs> that is probably true. Yeah, if I'm not, well, then you couldn't assume it. Well, I wouldn't because if you're not here, he would be with me. Yeah, or he would be with somebody that I trusted. And then I would check, hey, did you make sure he ate? Yeah, okay. Yeah. True story. I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> that's that's I all I got know. for you. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. Ladies and gentlemen, we take pride in presenting This is Ace and Friends Okay, that's a fun question If, ask this of your significant other If you really want to start something tonight If something happened to me Do you know right now Who you'd want to go out with next? Yeah, that's a great idea (laughs) That surely won't start a fight Take that one home today Oof. Hey, Meredith. I will never ask this question. I'll tell you. Oh, right do you now. not? Well, would you not want to know, Rob? No, I don't want to know. And I know if if I had something, I wouldn't. She, I wouldn't want her to know if I did. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right. That's probably. Yeah, that's yeah. probably. Just that, just throw it out there. If something were to happen to me today, do you know who the first person is you'd want to go out with? Hmm. And and what and how will you react if they go? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. I won't be happy about it. So I don't, I'm not crossing <laughs> no. that bridge. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the the barricades on that one. We're not we're not going yeah. across that one. I can honestly <laughs> answer that question and say no, I do not. Because hmm. there's a pool of about five that, <laughs> that I just gotta gotta find a way to kind of cut that down i'm gonna sure. have to draw names out of a hat yeah, yeah like a draft and by and by no means do i want to get rid of my wife um i mean she's uh, smoking hot to be quiet i mean i don't know how to that's 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 the truth she's way more attractive than me we need to wrap this up you're fumbling and it sounds like you got some bad stuff going on. No, I know she's. I mean, she's kind of. She's, I just find it's a funny question. Would you know? Would you know immediately? It's funny. I probably in 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 reality, I wouldn't want to know because I would be depressed at probably how uh, young, successful, and attractive this guy would be. Well, don't we know she's not attracted to young guys? Don't we know that? Well, I'm sorry, Rob. You're right. To be fair, it probably would be still be younger than me. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe but be, maybe not. The guy could be forty. Yeah, and he'd still be. Younger than me, better looking than me, and more successful than me. Hmm. It could, yeah, it could happen that way, but maybe it wouldn't. Oh no, it would. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I was trying to make you feel no better. Doubt. There is no way she's going to date somebody less successful than me. Yeah, that's hard to do right now. Yeah. Well, this is. But if you want to have some fun, throw that out there and yeah. see what happens. It's fun. Yeah, it's and fun then, talking about it. Here, and isn't then. It? Uh, hit us up from the hotel room that you stay in and let yeah. us know how it all turns Honestly. out. Oh! This is Ace and Friends. 
They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Great, great, great. Ladies and gentlemen, we take pride in presenting... This is Ace and Friends. I'm about to give you a reason why you can't really be comparing yourself to other people all the time because it can be really depressing. I uh, I was in the gym the other day, and there's a guy. This is probably a month ago, and there's a guy in there. And I was like, dang. And you know, if you if you work out a lot, or you're really focused on trying to get yourself in shape or back in shape, like I am, um, you you see other people and like, oh, that guy looks good. Like, good for that guy. And, you know, he works out hard, and you mm-hmm. and you kind of draw inspiration from that, like. And I'm older than most of the people in the gym. And there was a guy in there who's about my height. And he's bigger than me and he's ripped. But he looks like relatively close to my age. I'm thinking I'm probably five, six, eight years older than him. But he's still, he's probably mid to late 40s, you know. But man, that guy looks good. He he works hard. You can tell he's ripped. Good for him. That's awesome. That's Maybe I could do it. You know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, uh, I know the owner of the gym because Amanda works there and, uh, it's TJ's little friend, Jenny, and we all were having dinner one night. And I was just like, said that guy, like he, he's inspiring. Like, you know, even though he's still younger than me and she said, I hate to tell you this. And I said, what? She goes, he's older than you. Oh, really? And I went. No way. And she said, he's three years older than you. Really? <laughs> and that guy, now when he comes in the gym, I just want to go I just go to the other side of the gym. Yeah. I, I saw him in there yesterday. And it was one of those like, oh, damn, that dude, he's in here again. Wow. Damn it. You don't want to go up to him and ask for pointers or something? No, <laughs> no. And one day he was doing an exercise, and I thought, I, I you know, I, I had a question about it. I was like, no, I'm not going to ask him. I don't want to meet that guy. Yeah. Uh, I was like, that guy could be my inspiration. Because even though I'm a little bit older than him, but to find out that he's older than me, and it should work the other way. I should be inspired by him, but instead I'm just like, God, that guy's just so much better than me. Yeah, but even if he was late 40s, it's still like it's not a huge difference. No, but now, but but the fact that he is actually older than me by three years and is a, looks light years. He's in. He's a light years beyond me in shape. Now mm-hmm. the distance seems to be even more. At first yeah. it was like, well, we're relatively close in shape. He's in better shape than I am, but I'm relatively close. Now it just seems like he's just light years beyond me. Yeah. You should like to, to hype yourself up, like walk by him when he's doing something. And go, oh, only that much weight. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rob. Ooh, I just that's... went home and had like a cheeseburger. I went to McDonald's. Yeah. And just, that's drown in sorrows. Just called it a day, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You ready? Ace and friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. I'm not kidding. We're sitting here like a bunch of old men discussing (laughs) powertrain warranties. Rob said he had to go at a certain time today because he's got an appointment to get his oil changed. And I said, oh, I'm impressed. You have an appointment for your oil change. Because I usually drive by you know, the grease monkey and look over there and say, mm, ooh, only one person there. Time mm-hmm. to get an oil change. Sure. Uh, you know? Absolutely. Um, but Rob's still under warranty. I believe so. I probably, I'm probably i probably close to not being under. Do they do it for free? Uh, no, no, no. Not, not, not the oil change. I just, okay. I mean, but I've looked at other places, and it's about the same price everywhere, which is wildly expensive for an oil change at this point. Well, everything, I mean, yeah. you know, inflation has gotten a lot more expensive than it used to be. Yeah. So you just... You don't have to go there because it's a part of your deal. It's free. You could go anywhere and get an oil change. Yeah, but I think if, if I think it was ten years or one hundred twenty-five thousand miles for the 
thing. I'm under, I'm still under 125,000 miles, but you have to do like oil changes and stuff with them uh, to keep that going. Well, oh, to keep like a, some type of warranty that yeah. you have going. Yeah, I oh, that think makes sense. I think I still have that warranty. I'd be paranoid I, with all that stuff in my car when I take no, it to get service on it. No, it's fine. Right. No, this is a perfect example of how we're different. <laughs> You're totally fine with it. I would be very embarrassed. I would you, Rick. I would go in and I, I make sure it's all clean. Like, are they going to be in the back? Like, I and clean it all out before yeah, I take it. Just a little. Just, I don't want them getting in my car. Like, look at all this junk in this car. Yeah. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It ain't going to bother me. Yeah. Do you ever go... Uh, I guess you probably don't, Rob. Go and have your car cleaned some anywhere, huh? No, I did when I first got this vehicle, uh, and I kept it clean inside for a, about a year. But then uh, it kind of slowly uh, went dwindled. Riggins, why did you make a face when he said about a year? Was it a year? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've had it for like I've had it since twenty twenty, so it's been four years. So three of those years were not clean years. Yeah. The last, the last three have been not clean years. Right. Yeah. It's like when a girl says, "How tall are you?" Uh, I'm like six four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Five ten. Yeah. But so that your back seat is still full of stuff, Rob. Yeah, I cleaned out most of the trash. Now it's just boxes of stuff, like video. I mean, board games and stuff now. Even in the back seat, I thought those were in the trunk. Oh uh, well, there's there's only so much space in the trunk. So okay. Like, so you got a trunk full of board games and a back seat full of board games. Yeah. Do you still have the three jackets? Oh, uh, there's one jacket in there now. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time you wore that jacket? I don't know. To be honest with you, it had to have been sometime last year, though. Because uh, wait, last I, year is in this past winter, or is in 2023? Uh, like probably end of 2023. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I I do remember washing all of my jackets at some point la uh, within the last six months. Good for you. <laughs> Love that. Well, I don't. I don't normally wear a jacket, so I don't have to wash it all the time. Oh yeah. Because well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling he's lying. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> <which part? laughs> Please. I got a feeling he's lying. About which part? Because you said but I remember. I did wash all my jackets with, 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 with the last six months. Yeah, six months. Ago. <laughs> yeah, I remember doing that. Like you were about to say within the last. Two years, and then realized that's gonna sound bad. I should say within the last no, six, no, months, no, no, six, months, six months. Six months. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Okay, right around Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ooh, wrong one. Woo! This is Ace and Friends. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.